Yo everyone, C4IQ here, UMVZ podcast. Uh, today we're doing Magneto. On the podcast today, we've got returning guests, uh, Darkon. You want to say hello, dude? What's up? And uh, we've got Ninja Link. What's up? Uh, yes, tr- we'll try and make this a, a quick one. I mean, it is Magneto. Everyone kind of knows how it works. But uh, obviously, Darkon's got experience playing him, and Ninja Link has experience playing him and playing against other Magneto. So, should be good. Uh, let's kick it off. Start off with uh, his normals. Uh, what do you two think? Out of ten. Uh, do you want to go first or me? Uh, you go first. <laughs> okay. Um, out of my three characters, I think he is by far the best normals. I love his normals. It's- Stanny Jab is amazing, probably the best. Uh, I, li- I love his air normals, air heavy, air medium. They all have their uses. Uh, he has a sliding crouch. His lows are amazing. I, it's got to be 10. I can't see how it can't be. <laughs> funny, it, no, funny enough, it, he's right to me. Pretty much like he, he doesn't really have a bad normal. Yeah. yeah. Even his crouch medium chips. People that I know. Yeah, it's cr- yeah, it's, yeah, it's crouch medium chips. But it's like there's nothing that I don't think any of his normals are bad. What about his standard medium? Is that they use it for resets? It pops. Yeah. Because, and also it's and some weird it's confirms. Good for, right? It's some weird confirms that use a standard. Yeah, medium. for confirms for when you're trying to carry somebody from high up in the air, it kind of helps lower the opponent so that you can get them grounded for like launch combos and stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's uh, not even a debate. Right, 10 out of 10. Nice. Let's get it. Yeah, <laughs> I think of, so. I can't even argue with that. Yeah, because I, I can see every Magneto at one point using every single one of his normals. Yeah. yeah. It, it also is launcher. I think it's minus 3. Right? <laughs> it's it is. It's, it's like minus 3 or minus 4. Yeah, launcher. and when he's crouching, like, his entire body is the hitbox. So he's, like, so yeah. protected during his launcher. Sort of like yeah, uh, Doom. It yeah. Really, yeah, it's got exactly like Doom, yeah. But Doom, it like, is a shell. <laughs> yeah, I think Doom's has a more uh, has more left to right range. Yeah. Yeah, he's in a bubble. But, yeah. And he crouches but, while he does it. So yeah. he puts the head box in front of him. It's more disjointed, I think. <coughs> right, uh, yeah, 10 out of 10 for normals. That, uh, that's respectable. Uh, specials? Uh, Darkon, do you want to go? Oh, should we just let Darkon go first all the time because he's the yeah, Magneto yeah. player? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, specials. Yeah, his specials aren't. I mean, like magnetic blast is such a great special, and just from all the stuff that you know, uh, me and Ninja Link are finding out about it, kind of, kind of really weird, but it makes it even a little bit better. Um, yeah, his specials are pretty good. I I don't think I can't see him being like more than like I would say six or seven though. Huh. If we'd, if I we'd mean, be higher than that, but yeah, I mean, but like I'm, I'm the thing is I'm trying to compare. I'm comparing them to other character specials that I know that you, you guys probably don't want me to do that. No, nah, not really, mate. Not I can't. Really, I can't yeah. help it. But I mean, yeah, disruptor <laughs> is so good. Yeah, but I mean, you can't really combo into it or off of it. You, um, um, you, you do combo into it for you do launch. <laughs> yeah, you do. Is uh, you do launch air heavy into disruptor to tempest. Oh well, that's not what I mean. Like, I mean, confirming into combos from it. Uh, yeah, you oh, do do, uh, it, do uh, it during combos. The first yeah. hit, as the first hit, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. the first that's hit. Yeah, like you know, doing a, a ranged attack, and then confirming into a combo with like uh, yeah. who? How many characters actually do that? I know we're not meant to be ke- uh, compare, but have yeah, Mark, Mark, Chris. It's like who else? Chris yeah. can do it. Morgan can do it. Yeah, but uh, everyone else and Thor, but everyone Dormammu, else. Is... I think Dormammu can. Mm, depends. He's more complex because of the spells. There's <laughs> a lot of. Things there. Variables, um, variables included in him. Uh, yeah, I guess. <coughs> Maybe um, Rocket Raccoon if you're slick. Yeah. The Spitfire but, Teleport. But you gotta think about it this way: is like, does he have specials that's not really used, 
or there is like no use for it. Like the disruptor, yeah. it's a quick, it's like, a quick beam. That's I think it's four soft knockdown. It's a four, yeah, it's a soft late, knockdown. Yeah, yeah it's, it's soft knockdown. And it's quick. I mean, like his fit. attraction and his uh, the other two. I mean, they're not really used all that much. It's matchup. Um, Usually they use attraction yeah. for. Um, so I've seen some haggers against Magnetos, and that. Yeah, and it's and it's terrible. Like, yeah, for that reason. If if you have the right assists. Some people don't even use assists. They just literally dance circles yeah. around hacker. Really, they, they just doing, like push them away forever. Yeah, they keep doing repulsion, yep. repulsion, repulsion. It's it's nothing can you do. Okay. Yeah, literally ten yeah. zero. So like, not even exaggeration. <laughs> yeah, like just because he has that, some matchups is like he wins because of that. Attraction, you use it to get more damage on um, Shockwave. And the mix-ups with Attraction is a lot better. I, yeah. I don't think a lot of people That's use it, it enough. Because like, if you back up, do Attraction, it's like, well, now I can crush you up in the corner. You're not in the corner, so I can... It's not just a high-low now. Yeah. It's like, am I going to crush you up? So, yeah, yeah, and it's also the, the force oh. mix-up. Uh, like, when uh, who does this? Um, Demon Hio with Chung Li. That's one. And yeah. that's one from Cali. <laughs> The stuff that you can do with Doom Hidden Missiles and Attraction and, um... Do, uh, uh, Magneto with Dante. When you do that in the corner. Really? I forgot who does... That. What's this guy's name? I, he's from Cali. He uses, a uh, Viper... Viper, Dante, Mag- Magneto. Oh, is that K-Beast? Yes. There K-Beast. you go. He does that with... He Pretty much he trips you, and then when you get up, he just pushes you in the corner, calls Dante, and you're locked in there, you get a free mix-up. Because hmm. you ha- you're forced to take it because he pushes you back in the corner, no matter if you rolled or not. It's like this uses for all of his specials. Yeah. Hypergraph gets people full screen. <laughs> yeah, hypergraph. I love hypergraph. And, and combos, of course. Yeah, the loop. Loops, like blast. Uh, it's a grab. It's considered a grab, so it can grab through like Shinko gold armor. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a hit. Right. It's a hit. Yeah, it's a hit grab. A lot of yeah. grapple. Yeah, and hmm. Bon Voyage. Yeah, I mean, think about that. It is a hit grab. So if Hulk is doing spamming. Armor moves. It just yeah, it. it'll grab right through it. Yeah. So you still want to give it a six? He does. He does have a lot. Yeah, like. As like a, the specials all have uses. Yeah, I they would say do. At least I uh, say at least an eight. <laughs> I would say seven, but obviously it's it's between. It's, I'll do it between you two. So if one says seven, one says eight, we'll just do seven and a half, or whatever, like that. So. I, I still. I still think the best specials are just a little bit better than Magneto's, but because of Bro, because of Magneto's mobility and the way he's built, it just they just kind of work for him. Yeah, I think all the specials work for him. Yeah, it's, really, it's, not, it's not like oh they have a special move that they're never going to use. He has a use for all of them. Mm. Yeah, attraction he has the uses. He has repulsion, but some matches like as you see, it makes it um, completely unwinnable. Yep, and also. For force mix up in the corner with assists, it, it kind of makes anyone's anyone else's mobility like yeah <laughs> minus and four. Like yeah, yeah, doesn't matter how good like you might have Storm or Dante with the box dashes, but if, if I keep pushing you back, it kind of makes your your movement not as strong as it should be. So disruptor is exactly what it is. It disrupts. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. if someone's pressing anything, you can just do that full screen. It forces a knockdown. It's yeah, so quick. It, it, yeah, it and then you have a, and then you have assists, assists out yeah. of whatever they're doing. You can snipe people. I think it's the fastest besides Luna, uh, Iron Man. It's like one of the fastest beam assists Is or it? projectile assists. Oh, cool. Falls is pretty fast. From the time that you press the button to the time that he shoots it out, I'm pretty positive. Oh, uh, yeah, stop. Sorry, yeah, it's yeah. the fastest. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's. I thought I was thinking of uh, getting across the screen. I thought Spark was faster, but yeah, it's start up. I think yeah. No, be- beams or beams. Beams is just full screen. Period. Doesn't matter yeah. where you started from. Don't they take a like? Isn't there like a frame time scale of when if you're doing nah. it on the screen, it just comes out on the screen? Yeah, it's just like, there. Oh, okay. Because the hitbox is the entire hitbox is just a straight hitbox. Straight yeah. Because right. it's not like arrows where it has a travel time. Same thing with uh like. Like Wesker's gun. It's considered. I think it's considered a beam because it's like it's just one it bullet, just, but it's the t- is that whole space. Yeah, it just makes a line. It's just like a yeah, laser but, kind of. But the difference is with Wesker is it's not a beam where it hits everybody. It just only hit one person. Yeah, yeah. That's the only difference. Yep. So I don't know. 
It's like Disruptor is good, Magnetic Blast, yeah, Magnetic Blast, Hyper Grab. They all have their uses. All his gravity moves. Hmm. So it's like yeah, I, one, I guess it, I guess an eight would be good because eight is still not the best, but it's pretty good. Yeah. I think it's the versatility of these specials that's what makes it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah, they necessarily are that they're all like they're all very good. Like they've all got their time and place. So, uh, right, uh, hypers, uh, yeah, hyper grab, not hyper grab. Sorry, uh, magnetic tempest and shockwave. Level three. Uh, yeah, I I really like his hypers. I mean, he has decent invincibility. Not the best. It's ten frames on Shockwave and his level Shockwave. Three. It's the first. 10. Yeah. I wish there were more. Like I always, I always, you know, throw it out, and I sometimes I get chipped, like you know, hit by something. Yeah. But I mean, his the damage from he gets a lot of damage from his. Uh, um, Tempest. From the snow. Yeah. Uh, from the, yeah, the snow hyper. I call it the snow hyper, but it's uh, <laughs> snow. That's not what it's called. Yeah, but um, I mean, yeah, snow. he did. Yeah, the dirty snow. <laughs> can you snap out? Uh, well, not snap out. Can you snuff out? Uh, shockwave. I'm just wondering because I've no. never seen it. You can't. It, as Once soon the flash as happens, it's coming it's out. Coming out. Right. I. You can interrupt it though. Before but, it, the flash like, happens. Like pre so. pre flash, yeah. Right. It's, it's just 10 um, frames, and then there's a small gap, and then there's a flash. Yeah, there's a little gap where he can get hit, but it'll if it, if it's out, it'll still come yeah, out. Once yeah. the flash happens, I try, to, like, do, I try to do a one-frame command throw, it's, it hit me first. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's mad. So, yeah, as long as he says shockwave, <laughs> yeah. you're pretty much getting a shockwave once on he said, Once he says, this is it, that, <laughs> that, that, <laughs> this is it. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about uh, teleporting through it? Like I know I've, every now and again I've got through it with Wesker. Uh, yeah, Wesker can do it. I've seen a lot of people yeah. do. It. But that's you, just like your space. You're not. Yeah. You're not point blank. It's got to be yeah. like mid to close range, like enough to get behind him. Because there's a lot of times where I thought, oh, I can get through the shockwave. I'll teleport in front of him, but then the like the trail of the shockwave will still carry me back a couple. Yeah. Yeah, you got to time it right. Mm. As it's like, yeah. You got to do it like Ryze is about to hit you. Or you have to be disappearing right it's about to hit you. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only way you'll get past it. Unless you have a tracking teleport. Yeah, I've seen that, like some Dormammu's and Virgil's do it from full screen, but it's yeah. not often you see a shockwave against them sort of characters from full screen, so it's yeah. more the Magneto's fault than yeah. something to get around. Yeah. And also I... from max range it does good very good damage. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you have a full uh full uh full screen to work with. Full screen, yeah, it'll do pretty good damage. Um, I just wish he had something better to use for chip, because he doesn't really have a good chipping option with hypers. But, I mean, his level 3 is probably one of the best. Uh, yeah. You know, for as far as level 3s yeah. are concerned. It's exactly. pretty great. For a very long time. I yeah, it hits anywhere. Anything. OTGs. It OTGs is a projectile, which is Odd. Yeah, it's pretty meaty too. Like even if yeah. somebody's like in the middle of a teleport, it'll grab them out of the teleport. Yeah, because it's a it's a ball of energy that like gets smaller, and whenever the person's able to be hit, it hits them. Yeah. What's the uh, yeah. start on it? Like obviously with like uh, if you're uh, on the ground against Gimlet, you can just raw tag it, and then the Gimlet will whiff. Yeah. Can you not do that with uh, Magneto's level three? No, I don't think so. No. You can do it with level one, it's, but not level three. I think it's active frame one after the flash. I'm actually going to check the guide, but I believe it's active one frame after the flash. Yeah, isn't that the same as Gimlet though? No, Gimlet is a lot quicker. No, it isn't. After the, no, like it comes out quicker, but after the flash, it doesn't hit immediately right after. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. That's why you are talking about. Are you talking, talking about Gimlet or level three? Uh, I, I was comparing the uh, Gimlet with Magneto level three because I was thinking if you can raw tag on reaction to Gimlet after the flash, you can hold tag and then you'll tag out. Yeah. But obviously, I've tried it with Magneto's level three, and I didn't know if it's like if it was either that it was quicker, so you didn't have time to do it, or that the active frames were longer. Uh, both. <laughs> yeah, active frames yeah. I know for sure are longer. Right. Because I think it's active, like, frame one after the flash. But I'm going to check the guy just to make sure. But I believe that's the case. Gimlet, I think, is, like, a couple frames after. Probably, like, yeah. 
Yeah, because like some characters can like do a pow- it, no, like some characters do a power up super and it will evade it. Yep. Yeah. Like Wolverine and the twins. Yep. It, so there's a there's a frame or two there that you can avoid it. Mm. I don't like walk limits anyway. I don't respect walk limits, but yeah, that's that's good. <laughs> you have you have to do scatter or something. You have to throw some sort of up arrow before you do that, but yeah, yeah. Unless you're going for chip, and even then, sometimes I've seen it with like on some people's jump arcs, especially Akuma's. If he does a jump and he's on his way down, Gimlet normally whiffs on him for some reason. Yeah, because it is an angle thing. Yeah, like it's... like Morgan, if she's like full screen, if you like crouch after the flash, yeah. it misses. She can do it at like all kinds of ranges too. Yeah, yeah, I learned that. Like it's a little point blank's a little harder, but like it, it's, yeah, it's do it. I'd rather just do uh, scatch up or raw tag. Uh, if you can. Raw tag, probably yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, besides the sort of kind of the newish combo with uh, Dirty Snow after uh, Disruptor, I didn't really see anyone else use it besides skin off for the setup with Spider Man. Uh, right. Is there any really other use for it? It's just for calm, just for just combo. damage, yeah. Because if Solo you're in the corner, damage. Yeah, if you're in a corner, you have to do that. You do hypergraph loops into that. Otherwise, the shockwave does nothing in a corner. Yeah, yeah. It does like two hits. <laughs> if, oh, uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. We've got the mission. T- uh, shockwave. It's hard knockdown. <laughs> that's yeah. Also, that's also a plus. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's a good thing. And, and the full, full screen, screen push. Yeah. yeah. It's full screen push. And it pushes you full screen. I can't believe oh. they didn't make fours like that. I'm so mad. So yeah. Mad. It. Yeah. It, but if you push lock the first shockwave, you can actually don't get hit by the rest of them. Yeah. Know. Really? It's only, it's only the first one. It's it's like timing, yeah. So, so if you're point blank to him and he does it, just push block it and you won't get pushed back. So yeah, the, the shockwave will end up behind you and then you can punish uh, Ma- Magneto really easily. I have heard that, but I've just never seen anyone do it. It's very I've rare. I've seen it. I've, I saw... Uh, who, who did it? it? On stream at a really big tournament. I think it was um, Combo Fiend. I think he did it to, like, somebody big. Cause, yeah, I want to say Filipino champ. Only reason why yeah. people will get it is someone did it too late and you're already above them or, like, next to them. If they're, like, approaching and they do it and you're mid-screen, then you can never do it. Yeah. Right, okay. Does it work in the air as well? Or just on the ground? It, air I think it's only in the air. I've oh, never seen it on the no, ground. You, no, you can do, no, you can do it on the ground. Oh, okay. I've only seen it in the air. I think I've done it on the ground once. But it's only because okay. the Magneto did the Tempest. Sorry, the Shockwave too late. Right. I see. Uh, Alright then, so it sounds like it's going to be some sort of an 8. Because, I mean, yeah, like you said, level 3 is pretty much... It's OTG, omnidirectional. It's... <laughs> it's I think it's 450k raw and it's mashable. Yeah, that's ridiculous yeah. amount of damage. Ridiculous. Like... You can They're mess up all... and then just do it, and then it works. Like it's just uh, one thing to note is that every single one of his hypers is like crazy, crazy punishable. Depends. If it's, no, if they it's they like, all are. <laughs> no, I'm saying some matchups, like for example, like with Shockwave, if you have a teleport, then they have to just take it. Unless they have like yeah, some I... big full screen to hit back with. I mean, like, they could tele- the, they could the, teleport behind you and then I think you know, the, reco- the recovery on the actual high part is all punished. Yeah. It's all like Spider Man. All of his Yeah, hypers. the recovery. Yeah. yeah. Uh but if it's like Hagger, no, he's not gonna do anything to you. <laughs> yeah. Like not every character has a teleport, so Yeah. I think cool. if it's a teleport character, then yeah, don't ever do that. But, but like if you that, get caught like if you drop a I don't know, your some sort of air combo where you go into uh, Dirty Snow and they, yeah, yeah I've and seen misses, that. Yeah. then you're you're gonna be you're gonna be punished pretty hard. Yeah, the, with Tempest, you can hit him about the startup after the flash, but if you're blocking it already, you can't do anything to him. There's no gaps. It's like, yeah. yeah. So it's it's sort of like uh, Trish's round harvest. Like you've got a chance to hit it, but you've got to do it before yeah. the actual move comes out. Yeah. The only, only time someone really punished it, if you remember, it was Justin Wong fighting Filipino champ. I think at the Canada yeah, one. Didn't he jump? What he just jumped. He just, he just. I think Filipino Chan did a super. I think by mistake, and he just jumped over it. Yeah. Before he, anything yeah. came out. And Akuma had like a pixel, 
So one of the rocks just happened to not hit him, and he just jumped over and killed him. But th- that rarely ever happens. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. That's very unlikely. Uh, but, yeah. yeah, I think I think an eight would be fair. What do you guys think? Yeah. I, if used correctly, they're all powerful. The, the only reason I said yeah. an eight is because Darkon said about them all being unsafe, and obviously you don't plan to yeah. do most of them outside of a combo, but mistakes happen. So if you do yeah. get an accident... Uh, you do like a late shock, uh, shock wave or magnetic tempest by auto create some cu- crossing, uh, jumping over and stuff like that. It yeah. is annoying and you do get hurt for it. Yeah, it just says, yeah. yeah, as Dargon said, there's no, he says, I mean, you can't, you can't do any supers like chip you. And I'll ask, yeah. I've seen a lot of people that do disruptor trying to do disruptor level three as like a Hail Mary. And yeah, you can, with certain teams, yeah, you can punish it. Even if you get like a beam or something afterwards or I don't know. X Factor on reaction and dash over, so yeah, yeah it is a good point. Uh, yeah, but what do you guys think? Uh, I agree with an eight. I'd say seven. Seven and a half. I'll go seven. Yeah, so, uh, for the full score. Yeah. Yeah, seven and a half probably. Uh, cool. Yeah. All right. Okay. Next, uh, DHCs. Uh, I can't quite remember the properties on. His hypers when you DHC if they change much, uh, like does hyper uh, does tempest start up quicker on DHC? Mm-mm. It just goes no, to after the flash. It's pretty much if you say if you DHC the shockwave, that's guaranteed to come out. They can't do anything. Yeah, that's really right. nice about that. The the difference with tempest is well that's that that's DHCing from it. Tempest you can DHC out of it really fast on the character. That's not DCing into it. Yeah, are you talking about DCing into or from? Because it's both, both. Both. Okay. Because yeah. um, yeah. obviously, like again with the skin off, he with tempest because not nothing comes out because you can DHC before the actual dirt yeah. comes out. That's and why flash, he gets. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. The flash comes out really fast on tempest, right. so you can DHC out of him immediately. Like even in Marvel Two, that's why. You just see Magneto do Tempest and he DC into Storm. It's pretty much yeah. a quick startup to a move that's instantly out after the Flash. Right. So, it's like... Yeah. I, I, I do it in this game. I DHC out of Tempest all and, the time and it does some really great damage. Another good thing about it that I just realized, you can't do Shockwave in the air. So if you jump and you want to DHC, you can use Tempest. Well, you have to use Tempest. You've got no choice. So, yeah. Yeah. Like, if you don't want to get chipped on the ground, like, if you've got a Chris grenade or something, you can just super jump. Yes, it's an easy way out. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, it's it's an option, yeah. It costs a lot of meter, but it is an option. Uh, uh, Does Shock... uh, Does these level 3 get any different properties DHC'd into, or...? Um, It's a one frame. It's one frame after Flash. One frame. That's fair. Oh, and checking Tempest, it's (laughs) It's four... It's awesome, yeah. And checking Tempest, it's four frames before the Flash. That's fast. Four frames before the flash. Yeah, that's fast. That's as quick as Doom's level three. <laughs> wow, that is fast. That yeah. is level three to the flash is four frames. Yeah, and then, zero, and, and then it's zero after. So. Yeah, I I do I do level three punish DHC punishes all all the time. Yeah, I, in yeah. my last video, in fact, I I did one. It's pretty great. Yeah, you can't surprise level three. You're dead. <laughs> wah, wah. Yeah. Uh, he's got pretty good DHCs, I think. I mean, I think it's still again, it's it's kind of the damage as well, right? The damage off of most of them is uh, it's dependent. Very, yeah, it depends who's DHCing into him and whereabouts is on the screen yeah. for like Shockwave and Tempest. Like it yeah. isn't. I think I feel like most of the time when people DHC into Magneto it's just because they've got a pixel or they want Magneto win they never do it to kill a character yeah. that's true yeah pretty much the only time you can get damage is like say if you have Doom trying to DHC in uh, Magneto you do the thing where you put him in hard knockdown for foot dive and then you put yourself in the corner yeah. and, then, yeah. and then do that Shock and you get full damage but other than that no, you can't really DHC that. like it's really hard to DHC into Tempest hmm I so think that's he, I think that's a tech that no one's really like utilizing because I've done it with Trish as well. You can do a corner combo with Trish, 
uh, when you do uh, the OTG uh, uh, Rand Harvest, the, the normal Rand Harvest, jump up S, if you try dash, you can get behind them sometimes. So you're in a corner. And then yeah. you, you uh, Tigany, the voltage, and then you could do Shockwave, and then you get all the reps of Shockwave. Yeah. Being it's so difficult, it doesn't make it as useful. It's like it's really team dependent on character. Yeah. Dependent, yeah. I think I've only really seen Champ and Ray Ray do that. Yeah. With Zoom. Yeah, Magneto Doom, yeah. Other than that, not many characters can DHC from themselves into Magneto. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on that, on that reason, I'd probably, I would say a six, but it's up to you two guys, so. Probably. These things from Magneto was good, because of the hard knockdown from other things. Yeah. But these things to Magneto was not that great. So yes, yeah. probably there. Because he's good from one direction, but can't do it from the other. Yeah. Synergy-wise, yeah. he's only... Yeah. yeah. And the corner, it's a lot harder. Uh, yeah, I would say 6-2. Yeah, because he gets, he gets one side of the spectrum, but not the other. <laughs> yeah. So. One-sided. Uh, right, next we've got mobility. I think this is going to be pretty standard. <laughs> just... <laughs> I don't even. Even, I'm gonna put ten down anyway, but yeah, just just go ahead and put ten. It's ten. Yeah, yeah, nobody has as good mobility as him. He can be where he wants, whenever he wants, however he wants. Yep. Uh, Yep. You can go from one corner of the screen to the other corner in like a flash. He can. He can chase people. He can run away from people. Yep. Is there like any way that, or is had anyone kind of like uh, compared like speed wise? So. Is his plink dash is the fastest? Is his uh, try dash the quickest? Um, or is it just kind of like, well, we can just see. Like, It's hard to block this than anyone, any other character. I just uh, don't think it's the fastest. Because like, I messed around with Wesker and Virgil, and they, their plink dashes seem to be a little bit better. Like, it, His goes further, but the beginning is slower. Yeah, Magneto on the ground, I think you have to do plinks a little different to get like the max. Yeah. But in the yeah. air. In the air, yeah. That's, that's what I had in my head, like, yeah. He's like a yeah. lightning bolt. <coughs> like, I can't. Trish? I, I was about to say Trish, but I think Trish isn't as fast. I don't think she is. Because, like, you see K Brad uh, playing dash with Trish, and his is really fast, but I still, I don't think it. Nah, I, it's almost, yeah. I'm almost. seeing K Brad and K Beast, and I'm thinking his Magneto Plink is quicker than Trish. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but, yeah it's like it's close, but not there. Or it's not yeah. as smooth. I think Magneto's yeah. not smoother. Like, he can get angles better as well, where Trish is pretty, yeah. like, she's rigid. Yeah. But Magneto's is a lot more fluid. And yeah. Storm? No. Storm doesn't do Storm that. Storm is a little janky. Like, like her air dashes don't go as far. And it always it always feels yeah. weird when she when she plinks in the air. Like, I don't most know. And most people don't even plink with her. They yeah. Like, they just uh. up down. They yeah. just, like, float, and then they, like... <laughs> It's like even come like, down. You don't even have to plank. You can just do up down. Like yeah. I think it was like when Vanilla came out, Richard uh, Richard Nguyen was using Magneto, and he was just doing up down. And he just zips across the screen like it looks like it was faster than planking. I was like, how is he zipping across the screen like that? Even mm-hmm. then, it was not, it's not even planking, and it's still fast. Yeah, so, I do up down. It's a little easier. Yeah, and it's not that much slower, and I guess it's well, sometimes a little faster if you do it right. I, I probably don't do it right though. Yeah, if you do it fast, it's probably just as fast as blinking. Yeah, mm-hmm. it might yeah. be the same as Doom because I know Doom like when you go up down, it's quicker. Yeah, because I yeah. think it just goes further for some reason. But it's yeah. not, he he covers more ground. I think that's what he's yeah. It's like yeah, yeah. Looking looking at the cast, I don't think anyone can. No one can do like, air mobility. Like Phoenix, can, Phoenix can actually move pretty fast in the air. Uh, still not that deal. Yeah. No, yeah. So, like the only thing I, that I think would stop him getting a ten would be saying he hasn't got a teleport. But then we would be comparing him to other characters. I don't think he actually needs a teleport. He can, yeah, he, he does not fast. need a teleport. I don't think he's got a yeah. good crouch as well. Like he can crouch under. A few stuff. I've seen him crouch under. He crouches under. I think f- two of the f- two of the arrows from a uh, Taskmaster. I was gonna say Hawkeye, but probably Taskmaster as well. Wow. Hawkeye when he does a straight shot, only one of them hit him when he's crouching. He only has to block one. Oh. And he could probably make it whiff if he done like a 
uh, crouch heavy because he can yeah. make his profile yeah. really low. Right. Yeah, so it's not even just like the air is like everywhere. Like he can plank on the ground pretty good. It's not like it's the fastest on the ground, but the fact that he has that plus the air mobility. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's tri dashes are. I think it's more because he's got the light. The way that his light's angled, it makes his tri dashes a lot more dangerous. So, yeah, his overheads are yeah. ridiculous. And I think with his jump height, he can sort of pretty much go over most, well, like ninety five percent of the cast. I know with certain people, when you normal jump, your normal jump height doesn't go over our characters. Yeah, but I feel like Magneto, cause the only people he can't get over is Sentinel and Hulk. I think everyone else he can get over. But there's, mm, there's, I, there's, I never thought about that. There's certain people with yeah. Trish that he can't get over. He can't. She can't. Uh, yeah, some character. Yeah, every character has different. Really. Points. Mm. Yeah, I'm looking at. Yeah, he's jumping. He's making a screen move up when he jumps. So. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Magnetic control. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Magneto 10 on mobility. It was a no-brainer, pretty much. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, okay, solo damage. I think this one's a bit weird because I think at the beginning of like Ultimate, it he wasn't really doing much uh, yeah. damage wise. He did. He did less than when he was in Vanilla. Yeah, yeah. They they lowered the damage of his normals. I think it's heavy particularly. Yeah, his heavy yeah. got nerfed. Like you couldn't you couldn't do, and they changed the hit the, the knockback, knockback, so you couldn't player. do the so you couldn't do the ROMs anymore, which I hate. You could do it, but I mean, it's you like could a do lot them. harder. Yeah, they're a lot harder. <laughs> you don't see people doing ROMs anymore just because of how hard it is. Only an X Factor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, an X Factor. It's still doable. Yeah. Yeah, I think I didn't really see Remix go for that on stream. I don't really see any other Magneto. Maybe Joker does it every now and again as well. I do it. Oh, just... never mind. Uh, sorry to be your topic. He can't jump over Nemesis clean. Oh no. <laughs> oh, he can't. Sorry, my yeah, bad. he could. Yeah, he could jump over clean. <laughs> He doesn't even touch them. <laughs> wow. Yeah, his jump height is pretty high. But anyway, back That's to uh, yeah, no. roll damage. Um, I the think early in ultimate. <coughs> if you if people did the old combo, they just kept doing, you know, fly heavy, 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 heavy over yeah. across the screen. But then people realized yeah. just add a uh, a bunch of magnetic blast to it, then that changed everything. Yep. So yep. he gets around seven hundred, I think. Uh, he gets it. I think he can get close to 800. I was thinking without, yeah. With, is that with, that's obviously with a hyper, yeah? With a hyper, yeah. Uh, what, yeah. one bar? Yeah. One bar. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah he, yeah, he can't do multiple. In a... No, that's, the, yeah, that's the only thing. So, like, can he's he... probably, go ahead. I was about to say, can't he do double shockwaves if you get him at the right height from a, uh, from a launch? I don't think so. No. I've seen people, like, put themselves out of the corner where, like, a Hypergraph, and then they launch in Tiger Knee into Shockwave to get full damage. Right. Okay. You, so, all right. I thought, I thought. I'm sure I've seen someone go for two, two Shockwaves. I must have been wrong though. I must it have been wrong. Could have been. No. It was one video that had like very strange Magneto combos, which that was one of them doing the launch into Shockwave. Yeah. So, like, are you talking about the launch and then the attraction Shockwave? I think that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Someone, someone made a video about that. Like, oh. uh, I think I, I think I know which one you're talking about. But so either way, yeah, that's not really. It's still not much damage. Like the only time you really see Magneto kill is with a level three. Uh, yeah. He gains. He does. The, <coughs> he gains the meter. That's what I was gonna say. He gains the meter to the level three, but I still don't think that's real. Like if he starts from zero, like he's not gonna get that level three. No, no. <laughs> Probably <laughs> not. Yeah. Doesn't he build like a bar and a half? I think. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Depends which combo you do, but he doesn't get the best meter. But I mean, yeah, yeah. I think he he's probably at the lowest of the best in terms of damage. The best scrub, like he's <laughs> below zero, below Virgil, below uh, Spencer, mm. but he's still up there. Yeah, no, yeah. that's a good way to yeah. put it. That's a good and way to put it. Virgil only does damage when he has a bunch of bar. Yep. Like, yeah, bar is like just pretty much the same as Magneto. Yeah, but he always, like eight hundred. Yeah, I, but Virgil always seems to be able to get that just enough meter to get that extra bar to get the kill. I don't know. That's, that's an assist. You think it's it's on solo? Probably, yeah. Yeah, I think I've told like CT like Virgil is only a threat because of X Factor. If Virgil's got no meter, he's he has to reset you. 
It doesn't matter. Like, yeah, you could have to. a really weak character. He will have to reset you at one point. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but yeah, back to Magneto. Yeah, uh, solo damage. I mean, in the corner, yeah, he definitely does... He, he does a lot more damage compared to mid-screen in the corner, I feel. And I still think it's being maxed out at the moment. Like, it, there's always yeah. seems to be a new bread and butter for him. First, it was like the magnetic blast and that shockwave into Tempest, like... Yeah, like, Ray Ray does double, uh, magnetic Cross blast. No, the, like, he, there's, he does a mid-screen where he does magnetic blast into magnetic blast. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I see Yikes do that yeah. one, too. I don't think Yikes does it. I think, Mag, I think Ray Ray's the only person that does it. I, I thought. Mag, if no, it's they, the combo that I think you're talking about, I thought I saw Yikes do it. It's, uh, it's usually the one where they just do medium, medium, heavy, magnetic blast, and they jump, and they do medium-heavy magnetic blast. Yeah. Ray Ray does magnetic blast, then he does a tri-jump with magnetic blast. Directly after. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's a little different than the one that I thought, I thought yeah, you thought. There's, yeah, there's yeah. no normal in there. It's just, it comes <laughs> with them. Yeah, yeah, that is crazy. I've seen that. Yeah. I mean, but who's who's nut, you know, who's nuts enough to try to do that in a tournament? I think Ray <laughs> Ray's the only one. Yeah, he, I don't think anyone has even figured out how to do it right. <laughs> yeah. It is saying, the da- like, the damage is there. Yeah, so like, it is good. You could get a hundred K, probably eight thirty, I think, around that. Yeah, and, and like the Joker combos where you do, uh, oh, what is it? Where you, where you like air dash down and you S, and then you go into launcher. Oh yeah, oh, that. those ones do ridiculous damage. Yeah, like like they those do like eight hundred meter lists. Like if you could if you can do that many reps, but. Yeah. Again, like I, you never see people try because because they're so hard. Yeah, it's definitely a an execution, execution yeah. thing. Uh, so I think mean, it depends. His bread and butters, like he can get decent damage, but those crazy ones are hard to do. But they can get they can get pretty pretty amazing damage. Mm, uh, yeah, I'll probably seven or an eight. Just because I, I still think, like, even mid-screen. I mean, I've seen, like, uh, Ray Ray do the, the hyper-grab loot mid-screen. Yeah. When that, when he starts crossing them up, he's like, he literally yeah. like, box dashes he, around like, the character. Yeah, just, like, he, he just, hits, like, three, like the back end sizes. of each. Yeah. 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 So, I think that's going to be a way to, like, max out his mid-screen at one I've point. I've only ever seen him do that once, successfully. He, he, he did it in a crew battle, battle yeah. I, I seen him do it in person. Yeah. He was practicing it. Uh, it's just that Magneto corner to corners anyway, so he always yeah, yeah. Rap, rap. But uh, it's like as, but maybe I'd probably say an eight. I think for this. One yeah, well. I think an eight's a good a good spot. Okay, I'm thinking seven now, but yeah, no, eight, eight. That's one. That's one. Uh, right. Uh, scramble situation. Uh. I think he's Stan Light just destroys everything. <laughs> <laughs> he can just mash Light yeah. if it drops a combo, and that pretty much stops that other opponent from doing anything. Most yeah, characters. Mashing Light's pretty good too. There's the uh, which what? is which is mashable. Uh, yeah, and, mashable and has the stand and has light. range. Yeah. Yep, both of them. <laughs> or if he doesn't have to press anything at all, he could just like dash out because it goes pretty far. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I mean, he can make you afraid, like, to block, and then just grab you. Yeah, you are scared of the fist, whether it be getting hit with a pimp slap or getting grabbed. Like, yeah. either is a bad option for you. You feel like you have to jump, and then they end up mashing standing light. So, what would you do? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, he, and one thing we forgot about, he has, he has a counter. He does have a counter. Yeah, I, I do love using his counter, but not in a scramble situation. I think you no. get a lot of... A lot of mileage out of that. Yeah, well, you probably you just, could. Uh, if you know the opponent's gonna stop mashing on you, you could just like put it out there. How how quickly does it uh, activate? Activate, yeah. Uh, I know the light one is like pretty fast. The heavy one has startup. Do they just, all work on like uh, normals or is one? Is it like Wesker where one's for a projectile, it's, it's one's physical? Out, yeah, physical. It, it, it actually nullifies projectiles. Yeah, it'll so absorb a you know a projectile or two, but it doesn't it, last that long. It, it it nullifies it as long as it's out. Yeah. Right. Okay. And as long as it's, it's out. Yeah. 
is a tool that people don't use enough. Like against Morgan, you can stall her as you're out just by doing that over and over. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I mean, because you can absorb the fireball coming in front and yeah, behind you at the same yeah. time. And as long as you're not moving and, left, right. And yeah, and you come out of recovery quick enough to do it again, so you get yeah. you can exalt the next rep. Okay. Yeah. Shit. I didn't think about that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of people don't do that with Magneto. When you do that, they stall. Like no matter what projectile it is, it just it just ignores it. See, the, the only times I've seen people do the counter is normally by mistake. I don't think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I've seen Dark do it. Like playing, he'd be done it to me a couple of times, and I was like, oh yeah, he has yeah. got that in it. Uh, oh, Strider it's, uh, assist. Yeah, frame three. Yep. Just blows up Strider assist. Definitely. Uh, the counter is frame three. The light version. Okay. So that's, that's pretty quick then. Wow, that's faster than I thought. Of. So <laughs> yeah, what's the that's difference? a lot faster than I thought. What's the difference between them? Is it the uh, the active frames on them? Yeah. Okay. Wait, yeah, uh, the heavy lasts a little bit longer, I think. Actually, the active is all the same. Is it really? Well, it it only seems like it's longer because it takes longer to start. No, I see it here. The old 19 frames. Oh. Each. I don't okay. Know. I, so what's the difference between the light, medium, heavy then? Start up. They start up. up. They start at different times, but the, the it's the end of recovery. Why? Okay. It just seems odd. Yeah. I don't know why. Most likely you'd like, be used the. It's probably the damage. That's probably it. Hmm. I could have swore the damage was all the same. I don't know. Uh, like I, the only. I'll oh, go ahead. I don't know. No, you can go. I'm just, I'm just gonna test it. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna. I was gonna say like the only reason why you would use the slower one is if like you're trying to meet with a projectile. Yeah. Like you want you want to start the input earlier, but you want yeah. the you want the the effect to come out slower. Yeah. So uh, that's yeah, the only reason why yeah. you would use that. Because obviously sometimes you don't want to try and meet, you don't want to do the input just when it's about to hit you, you want to do it earlier so you know that yeah. it's going to come out. So yeah, yeah sometimes exactly. you need the delay. Yeah, exactly, I wish, yeah. I wish Wesker that's... had that. I wish he had that. Because that projectile hub, you have to pretty much time it as the projectile's coming out, especially with like Disruptor. Uh, you've got to pretty much wait for the Disruptor. And sometimes it's like I know he's gonna call disruptor. Let me just—I want to do it now, but I'll do it too yeah. early. Yeah. So I, yeah. It's already I, on top of you. Yeah. But yeah, that is as a scramble option. I think I don't think it's a good option, but because no one's doing it, I think it is. I think if a lot more people were using it, people would adapt to it more. So they'll try yeah. and bait at or just do yeah. like a empty jump or something like that. So I say at this present moment, doing that with the way people are on Marvel, I think it's it would good. work. Yeah. And, it is and, it's, yeah. and it's super cancelable. At the counter is a force soft knockdown. Is it a yeah. soft knockdown? Yeah, it's, it's yeah it is. Knockdown. Oh, if we could air recover out of it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and you could do super out of it. So yeah. in this case yeah. you goofed, you can still cancel the super. And pretty much make it safe as long as they're not in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. So nice. it's, like, it's, it's like it's three frames and like there's only one other move. It's like not many normals that even have that speed. Mm. And like, like I've had, like I've had um, it. I've had times where it, like, like say a jumping in Hagar where they'll do pipe, they'll trigger the counter, but they'll land so that they can immediately block. They'll block the counter and then they'll try to like punish you after Magneto comes out, um, after Magneto does the attack. He's yeah. like invincible until it, it it ends. So like he can yeah. basically grab out of his own counter, uh, out of his own counter, in case somebody tries to you know punish it. So it's it's pretty it's pretty safe to do. Taskmaster's like that too. Yeah. When he counters a projectile, he's like invincible that whole time. Yeah, yeah. Same thing with Magneto. You know, it's pretty Payback. funny to see. Uh, yeah. Well, I I didn't think his scramble was gonna be that good, but now he's got that on top like, of the standing lights and crouching lights. Yeah, and him, and him just like dashing out. <laughs> yeah, It'd yeah, be just off, yep. not being in the scrap situation. If he doesn't want to be like, yeah, if it's like, oh, this this is a grab character. I'm not even going to try and do anything. I'm just going to move away, and that is a viable option. Like he can zip out in and out of situations too quick. So it looks like his scramble is going to have to be probably near an eight again. It's not probably more. an eight. Yeah, like not not as good as zero, but pretty up there. Uh, okay. Oh. If 
you know, I don't know. Would, yeah, who would who would ha- who would have the best scramble? Like, I, I always it, think I, it's like. Would it be Viper? Yeah, yeah Viper. With yeah. all of her, with e- all of just, her crazy ex. Just, just ex um, size mo. Yep. Yeah. It's a invisible move you could jump cancel out of. There's nothing yep. gonna beat that. <laughs> that she has to be the best. Yeah. So she, he's not that, but he's up there. Yeah, I'd, I'd say Viper's OP, but she does yeah. need a meter to do that. To be fair, but still, it's. If it's got a meter, it's like, there's nothing that, I can do. Yeah, people you, people have to change the way they fight her because uh, mm. because of the fact that she has meter. Yeah, they, they have there's nothing that. like that for Magneto. But yeah, but yeah I think it's move it's is pretty good. This jab is the frame 5, jab? and crouching light is frame 6. Oh, okay. So I think the count is frame 3, so it's like... Yeah. <laughs> if they are mashing, then... That's a quick. I don't even know. That's frame three, but that's faster than most things. In, most things in the game. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Absolutely. It's only, yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright then. Uh, eight for scramble. Yeah, Ninja Link. You cool with that? Yeah. I, I agree with that. Yep. Right, eight but uh, we've got three more. Uh, keep away. So this is basically keeping away from X Factor. Uh, obviously, because it's a movement of ten. I'm yeah. Pretty sure. Still... I mean. The only thing is, he's got a pretty big body. Like when he's not crouching, his his height is pretty big. Yeah, he's he's completely huge. He's really tall. Yeah, I'd say that's like the only drawback. Like movement wise, it's like you still can't touch me. But I think a lot of things clip him more than other characters. Like say, for example, if Wolverine's jumping, like normal jumping, I'll try and do triple uh, piercing bolt or any arrows. I've got more likelihood of hitting Magneto just because of how tall his body is. So I'll clip him on the way up while he's jumping sometimes or something like that. Uh, but that's yeah, true. Yeah. That's yeah. me clutching the straws just to not give him a 10 pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because he's kind of like floating. Mm. Like, kind of like how Doctor Strange is even though he's already tall and he's floating. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, obviously he's not, he hasn't got a big body but yeah, he's height wise. He's, he's just tall. He's up to Sinnoh's yeah. chest. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's, I mean, that's pretty big. Yeah. Even even with that, I don't think you can actually maybe h- knock off half. So he's nine and a half. Like, it's it's, um... it's it's pretty much him. The fact that he has a uh, the repulsion and also him having yeah, like, exactly. the blast magnetic blink blast, dash, yeah, blink dash, <laughs> magnetic blast, full screen, jump in. No, I'm just gonna shockwave. Like, this, this, what do you and, do? And then most characters can't even catch him when he's just plink dashing. Yeah. If he, fl- I mean, if he, he jumps up and then he dashes up and then he flies and he's plink dashing the other side, no one can really yeah. catch him. You have to jump up to meet him. Yep. Yeah. And then worried about getting grabbed. And, and, then, and then, like, say they're too close, like, oh, shockwave, and then, oh, now to get pushed back. And start again. Just, yeah, and start again. Yeah. I, I want to say a 9.5 just because I don't want to give him a 10. Just really tight, <laughs> but it's up to you two. Like... <laughs> If you want to give him a ten, by all means, go for it. Like, I, it's I'm there. okay it's with like, giving him a nine. Yeah, nine. yeah that's, that's what I was thinking. Because I, I feel like like it feels like a ten, but I feel like something is just missing. The, yeah, I think the height and the health is the only issue when when he's running away from X Factor characters. It's like you only have to do like probably a quarter of your combo to kill him if you're an <laughs> X Factor. Like he hasn't yeah. much life, so. It's like, yeah, it's hard for you to get me, but you don't have to do much. Like, if you get piped or get clipped with, like, swords, and then he gets to confirm, uh, it's he's so... done. Yeah. V- Vadra, uh, not Vadra, when he's against Strider level 3, it's like, yeah, the mobility is good, but the more you're not in the corner, the easier it is for me to mix you up. Yeah. Uh, so there is some ways to pin him down, but, yeah, I think, in general, he's... The mobility is just too good, and the crouch and the, the tools he has to keep people at full screen. Yeah, but yeah, a knife feels good, and a knife sounds good as well. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, like he's—it's not like he's helpless. He has like all the tools that he should need to like keep him away. Right. You know what, I mean, think about the Hagger thing. Yeah, that is, <laughs> yeah. If, if if no one's seen a ten o matchup, you have to see a Magneto against a Hagger. Just. Straight up, <laughs> and, then he, and then sometimes it gets Magneto and missiles, and it's like, yeah, you're 
Never. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, who didn't Ramasama go up against someone who did that to him? Um, Champ. Did Neo. That. Oh, was it Champ? Yeah. Champ did that. That was. That was so sad to watch. Yeah, that I was, was crying. <laughs> well, I, I've watched Cross Tekken sometimes, and that that blew up. I'd rather watch a Cross Tekken like Zangief against Chung Lee. Just it's, it's like it was Hager with X Factor, like plink dashing across the floor, and he couldn't do anything. Still, jeez, it was it was terrible. Yep. He was trying to like roll on the floor. So yeah, was to, drop yeah, kick was, an like, invincible roll. Yeah. Yeah. Like he that. tried, man. He. Just, <laughs> God, hey, I mean, cool. that's like the worst. But, I mean, Hagar is, like, probably one of the worst, the easiest people to run away from. I mean, like, when you're trying to run away from, like, Virgil or, like, even Dante, like, mm. getting turned around by teleport, or sometimes they clip you with Helmbreaker just when you're, as you're trying to dash out of the corner and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, it's a little risky, but... But, yeah, that that Hagar matchup is sometimes tough to watch. Hey, so, wham, wham. You don't see it often, but, yeah, it's... I guess that's the, uh... The risky take by picking Agar. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, is. Make sure he, yeah, make sure he's not anchor. Yep, yep. <laughs> but then people want to lariat it too much. But that goes into the next bit: positioning. Uh, how well Magneto works in different positions. I think he works pretty well in all of them. Like I'd say, anchors maybe is worst, but it's not bad. Like he, yeah, it's his worst, but it's still really good. Uh, like yeah, I, I don't know. Of course, this is not his worst because he has that, doesn't have assists. But if you think about it, does Magneto really need assists? When he's that fast, no. He doesn't. He doesn't need Some assists. of them help. They help. But I'm just saying, like, does he need it? it like, some characters, like, need an assist to actually be yeah. effective. He doesn't. Yeah. He, it just makes him even more effective. The thing yeah. is, with me, I feel like he doesn't need, like, in Anko, obviously, you're, you're mainly going to have X Factor with him. I don't feel like he needs X Factor either. The same way exactly. you're saying, I don't think he needs assists. I don't think he needs X Factor. Yeah. So leaving him as an anchor is still good, but then you're probably going to be it'll be more beneficial for you to use X Factor with a certain character, just because. Yeah. I don't know. It's, yeah, it's a yeah. weird one. It's a weird one. Was, yeah, when I think anchor, I'm thinking if it, what happens with X Factor without it. To yeah. him, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Same thing with Akuma. Akuma is the same thing. It's like it doesn't matter. Yeah. He doesn't, yeah. Need, he doesn't need assist either. He can do what he yeah. wants. Real yeah. Real Akumas <laughs> don't even need X Factor with him. Like he can yeah. kill without X Factor. So. Yeah. yeah. He, he kills Thor by himself. So. Um. He's good on point, obviously, because he makes very good use of assists, like drones, missiles. Yeah. If, pretty much any assist that keeps you pinned down, and you have to deal with his mix-ups. Second, he's good because the, the DAC is not so much. Not like the DAC is not so much. The TACs. The TAC, the the baby's first infinite one. It's, yeah, where yeah. It, it's so oh, easy. Come on, it, it is. <laughs> I've heard. So I've it, actually tried it, but I've heard like it is kind of like it's the easiest thing ever. But it does. I mean, yeah, it does it for you. <laughs> is it easy from uh, any tack? Do you, or is it only from like a down one or an up one? Is it easy it from matter. any direction? Oh, okay. It, it's easy from everyone. Yeah. As long as you get to the ground. Or yeah, if you can get the right height, then it's easy to get to start going from there. Because it's just going to flight, hit him with heavy, unfly, land, hold up. Yep. It doesn't matter what you do in the middle, <laughs> as long as it yep. has that. Yep. Um, so, you has that, so that's easy kills for whoever's on point. Um, you left the disruptor, where you have the assists. You have the assists, yeah. Yeah, the assists. Disruptor's amazing. For t- especially for teleport characters. Yeah. Yeah. Like Disruptor Dante, which Yipes uh, lives solely by. He, did, he yes. feels like free, free to play Dante, you had to have Disruptor. Really? Wow. Yeah, that's what he says. It says if you had Dante, you had to use Disruptor, don't use anything else. <laughs> yeah, the stinger teleport setups. Are... Didn't yeah. you say so that about uh, Hawkeye though, at one point? When he was playing Hawkeye, he was saying like, uh, row. or was that for Spencer? He might say that for Spencer. In he says it's really good for Spencer. Okay, yeah. It's better it than is... uh, Disruptor. It's good for Spencer, yeah. Yeah, Spencer needs like a projectile that stays out for a while. Mm. So task, that's why Combo Team is using Taskmaster. That worked well. Or if he has like uh, Author's Daggers, that's probably the best. Yeah, that is. People don't know about that. There's not enough. <laughs> people, yeah, I've seen it. It's it's not yeah, nice. Like, like, that's one of the best. Um, drones. Really good for drones. Uh, yeah. There was a bolts. Uh, bolts of Bullsack. See a lot of people using that. I think I think he could pretty much anything that makes you not want to move. Or yeah. As long as it keeps you down for a second, let him get in immediately. 
Yeah. You give him a second, he's across the screen already. So he can make use of all this, like, a, a very wide range of assists. And then a lot of people can use his assists. Yeah. Uh, even combo extending with, like, hyper grab, like, that's a... Yeah. <coughs> That's a luxury. It's like literally, you're not. I mean, the best I'd say is Spencer when he restands you, but Hubba Grab is the closest you're gonna get to a restand. Like, <laughs> and people also use that assist as well. There's some people to utilize that. Yeah, definitely. Hyper Grab. Yeah. Yeah, it's great for Chris because it gives him an extra flamethrower, which is the difference between like you know a million and a, and like a million point two. Yeah. Yeah. So. Captain America uses uh, hypergraph because you do the roll and have to guess. Oh yeah, who's the, uh, what's his name? Uh, Wicked, Wicked, Wicked X. X. Mate. Yeah, Wicked X. Yeah, I do, I do like his his cap's pretty good. And he's ma- and doesn't he play uh, anchor mag? I think so. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure it's Cap Taskmaster mag. Magneto. Yeah. Yeah, there is a few anchors. Obviously, Dark One and I'm trying to find um, some other ones. Yipes! Yipes! Uses own anchor. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's his name? Ramasama. Yeah, he pl- yeah. Okay, he has Hagar. He has to sort of play him last. He's got. He has Dormammu, Hagar. I yeah. Think, oh, yeah. So yeah, there's definitely a few. I think the prop- I'll say the rarest position to see him in is middle, second. Yeah, but then once they found the TAC, then yeah, not many people do him second. Yeah. I think he's still pretty good in second. I think it's only like I mean, Dio Sex in it. He also doesn't use Magneto. No, he doesn't. What am I talking about? He does Storm and Sentinel. Yeah. Or, as soon as I hear, as soon as I thought Storm and Sentinel, thought, oh, he must have Magneto. Yeah, MSS. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, but yeah, it's Doom in it. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. Uh, sorry, oh. what was going to say, Dark One? Uh, I completely forgot. <laughs> like about most, people, most people don't have him second. But oh, usually, that's right. But most people have him second as it's like a second point character. Like. Yeah. For example, the Magneto. Sorry, so people use Morgan, Magneto, Doom, or. Mag- you know, something like that. Yeah. Pretty much they have him second because they want the point character to be a battery for him or something. Mm. Yeah. But still, three TACs second. And See, he can you can't... Anyway. Like, when Magneto's incoming after you kill the first character, I mean, he's like one of the best characters to have because he can, you know, air dash out of the mix-ups, out of the ground mix. Yeah. So you can go into flight mode, stuff like that. <clears throat> so, I mean, he's not bad in the second slot. It's just that you hardly ever see it. Yeah, yeah, that is. It's usually they want like it's a point heavy team, so they put him on point, or it's someone else and they really need the assist, so they put him last. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, uh, what do you guys think score was out of ten? Uh, yeah. So it's basically like yeah, he's flexibility or versatility in a team. So. Uh, nine. I would say a nine. Yeah. Because it's not like he has a. He doesn't have really a bad spot. He has yeah. something. It seems like we say that for every character, though. Like, every single character, like, you know, they can be put anywhere. It's not bad there, it's not bad there. But, I mean, Magneto, yeah, it's like, I can totally see him in any position. And it, it would it work. Make, it would work. It would make perfect sense, yeah. So, I mean, it has Point to be character. either 9 or 10. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at the other ones just for our reference. Not because I'm not going to use it as a guide, but yeah, Morgan got a 7, Chris got 7, Dante got 8.5, Raccoon got 8. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, compared to them ones, I think 9's pretty fair. Like, yeah, I'd, I'd say nine. Dante is, obviously we said like he's like the jack of all trades, so he kind of does work in every position. It's just that I don't think people have maximised him as an anchor. So they still do... Dante style combos where it takes too long. Yeah, they don't yeah. have they don't have level three yeah. specific stuff. No, they're just going. Oh, I can do this move over and over again. It's like, well, you could probably do more damage if you did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for so, him, was, yeah, for him, he was supposed to thunder. He was keep doing thunderbolts. That's it. Yeah. Oh, there was someone who started. Uh, some branked. His Dante in level three is ridiculous. He was playing a. Golden Boy Neo and stuff, and he was yeah. literally that's Devil Trigger. As soon as he's got X back to Devil Trigger, as soon as he's got the hit confirm, and yeah, and just it, went into lightning. Yeah, all day. It's, it's like it hits nine yeah. times, and it's like each ball, it's not, each ball is like ten k. Yeah, it's, that's you crazy. Do it, yeah, you yeah. Could do it. You could do it three times. You do S, you land, you fly, you do it some more. Yeah, you, you can like, do yeah. like four or five. Yeah, so yeah, everyone's dead before the fifth one anyway. So 
So <laughs> yeah. every, every, pretty much every bolt is like Spencer doing uh, 80k on you. Yeah. Grapple. That's ridiculous. Except it's actually more than that. <laughs> and a lot quicker. But yeah, yeah. so... Yeah, I mean, yeah, nine, nine seasons. What there. is with Devil Trigger in this game? It's ridiculous. What? what? It always it always leads to the most insane stuff. Devil Trigger. Because oh, it's oh. done, ain't it? That's what's it, meant to happen. Yes. Trish Devil. needs Devil Trigger. Trish does need Devil well, Trigger. Well, she, she never so she can do some insane thing like that, like both Dante and Virgil. Oh, don't don't make me sad. She needs something, <laughs> or she needs to be able to like transform her sword into the. Sparta Reborn or something. She needs she needs something. She needs yeah. to be able to use her guns as well, not just in a level 3. That gets on my nerves. Yeah. yeah. I remember we were talking about that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's so many things they could do with her. So many, but... Yeah, Magneto's great on point with assists. That's, he has a, the TAC and also the mix... Pretty, it's a decent TAC... Oh, sorry. Uh, DHC for yeah. Shockwave. If you're full screen. And on Anchor, he's... He, you know, he can still play by himself. And also, the other characters can make use of the Disruptor and other assists. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's... Yeah, has to be a 9 in it, I guess. I'd yeah. say so, yeah. Uh, oh my god, this is going to have to be a 10 as well. Conversions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Or, or yeah. maybe a 9, obviously, because of the full screen thing, but I'll let you see. You see yeah, he can't... I, I, he can't convert full screen, but, like, any... Any melee hit, <coughs> any air hit, any he hit. will confirm into his max damage combo, basically. The only thing you can do full screen is, like, hypograph, but that's about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it, I do it, that it, sometimes. It's yeah, it's like the only yeah. thing. Mm. Like, you're going to push a button, I hypergrab, boom, grab you. Yeah. Other than that, uh, he can hit any normal he will convert from. Yep. Once Fanatic, showed, once Fanatic showed that... That he can confirm from ridiculous at spots. Yeah, at any height. Yeah. Oh. Because of the hit Super stun of S. Height, yeah. Jumping height. Because the hit stun of S, it, it leaves them stunned for so long. He's like, well, I can just confirm for whatever. Yep. Is that with the, uh, yeah, the, uh, disruptor? Wasn't, Ma- uh, wasn't Fnatic one saying, like, uh, oh, sorry, not disruptor. Magnetic blast was, like, unsafe. Yeah, he's saying, like, the way people use it is not right, and it can't get punished, doing. People think it's like the yeah. best thing, but it's like they just have not used it properly. The, uh, yeah. But then Magneto, sorry, then Fanatic started using it more himself. <laughs> I was just about to say that. Obviously, is it, was he using it the un the quote unquote unsafe way, or was he saying like this is how you're meant to be using it? He just he just saying like he was just going on about how it's a bad move. And he then he basically put his foot in his mouth. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't spam it like other Magnetos do mm. like. So Magnus just do it and constantly. Yeah, to just search for a hit confirm, innit? Just, just yeah, yeah, just to keep you away. They do magnet, they super jump, magnetic blast, double jump again, magnetic blast, and just keep doing it. Yeah. Like imagine air dash, Mor- air dash imagine away, Morgan blast. doing soul fist in the corner, but now fly canceling it. That's, like, that's how they're doing it. Oh, right, Okay. Okay. It's just just jumping up to shooting it like raw. And get away. Cancels. Yeah. Uh. I mean, uh, the only thing that I can't see as a conversion is Disruptor into level 3, and that's the full screen. I mean, yeah, anything so. bar full screen, I think, yeah, he can convert from any straight hit. Like, yeah. anything. Yeah. So, I don't know if for that reason you want to give him a 9, but, I mean, he can, technically he can do it. I've seen, like, many people do Disruptor X Factor, see that the first one hit, and then do it again, and then get the level 3, but... Obviously, that's a lot of resources. Yeah. yeah. It's that's a, not the best way to... Yeah, because no. most is like, without X-Factor, it's just disrupt a level 3, and then, like, try to pull them in and... I don't know. Try Shock to wave, yeah. Or, like, oh, plink dash really fast across the screen, and then, like, launch. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah I'm pretty yeah, sure I've seen k do that. Pretty, yeah, it's, it's not k I mean, sorry, K-Beast. Sorry, k yeah. Other than that, it's like, he can pretty much confirm everything. Mm. Yeah. And it's not like he has lack of hit stun either. So he has a lot of time to play with. Yeah, he has a great amount of hit stun. Like heavy, pretty much <laughs> just like impact palm. N- n- yeah, it's like a, well, a it, fair it, impact palm. I think impact palm is ridiculously overpowered. Well, but yeah. have, you ever seen a, but have you ever seen people like flip out of his heavy though? Nope. Exactly. It, yeah, I mean. <laughs> it's, it, it's that, 
If you do it wrong, like, it, 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 after like twenty five of them, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you can't do that many. When you can ship them out with crash medium after that, like you've done so much damage already, it's like. It's like it's meter. pretty. It's pretty much at that level, because the way to get knocked back, it's kind of like impact ball. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, nine uh, guaranteed. It's like it has to be at least nine. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Solid nine. I, I think if you had, you know, just a a little bit, like, because I mean, you have to be like half screen, basically, to do any type of confirm with any of his projectiles. Yeah. If he had a little bit more range, then that would bump him up to ten. I feel I, I feel the range is like anything outside of normal jump, uh, magnetic blast. If they're sort of outside that range, which is like you said, like it's like third, uh, three quarters of the screen. Yeah, it, it, probably a little closer than three quarters. But if people try that, like they play that magnetic blast, like from full screen, and that hits somebody, they get confirmed for that also. Say like that again, they, like. Plink like, dash say what? If, like, say if they do the Plink Dash Magnetic Blast, but they try Dash and do it at the same time. Like, if that oh. hits, they can still confirm for that also. Yeah. So, it's like, it's like the only thing he just can't confirm from. is like I the, hate doing Tri Dash Magnetic Blast. I can never do it. It's a way, it's a way you gotta Plink it. Yeah. Uh, it's like, besides Disruptor, I think, I think he can convert from pretty much everything. If it's an, if he touches you with, like, any normal, you will convert. Is a confirmed guarantee. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but other than that, like, so I was like, for that, he deserves a nine at least. Yeah. Nine, yeah. Okay. I'm literally uh, giving him a nine. Yeah. Yeah, I think nine's fair. Uh, right. So, drum rolls. Right. Eighty-four point five. Yikes. And compared to the other characters, it's much higher. Yeah.